Okay, today we're going to work on figuring out if two figures, okay, in this case, figures is another name for shapes, and what we're working on here, um, if they're similar or not, okay? And as you see, we have two triangles here, and one's a little bit bigger than the other. Now, we want to see if they're similar, they have to have the same angles, okay? And their sides have to grow or um, shrink at the same rate. They have to be proportionate. Okay. Now, we don't know the angles on these, so we're going to have to look at the sides. We're going to make ratios of the sides and see if they're all equal. Okay. So we have triangle A, B, and C, and triangle D, E, and F. We name them by the labels we give to each vertex. Okay. So first we have to find corresponding sides. Okay, so the first one is B, C, and E, F. See how these are both the bottom, smallest sides of the triangle. So B, C over E, F. This is a ratio right here. Okay, this side to this side. As I'm setting up these ratios to make my proportions, I'm always going to put the sides from this triangle on top of the sides from this triangle. Okay. So the next side you're going to see is AB, and the corresponding side is DE. AB, this one, over DE, this one. Okay? And the last side I have left is AC over DF. Okay? So I made a ratio, which each of the sides from this triangle over each of the sides from this triangle. So I mean three ratios. Okay? Now, I'm going to put numbers on each of those. So BC over EF. Well, BC is 9 and EF is 12. So as I move it on over, BC is 9, EF is 12. So it's basically 9 over 12, which reduces down to 3 fourths. Okay? Then I have AB over DE. Well, AB, I can see, is 12. And DE is 16, so I have 12 sixteenths. Okay. And my last side, AC is 12 and DF is 16. Well, yeah, we knew they were going to be the same because those sides are the same. Okay. So it's 12 over 16 again. This is an isosceles triangle where two sides are the same. So when I look at the ratios of each of the corresponding sides, the bottom, 9 to 12, the left side, 12 to 16, and the right side, 12 to 16. I see that the ratios are all equivalent, they're all 3 fourths. So I know these are two similar figures. Okay? Now, I can use um, my knowledge of similar figures, ratios, and cross multiplication to solve equations as well. So I'm going to show you one next. Now I know that these are going to be similar figures. Okay? I know they're going to be similar. I have, they're both isosceles triangles as well. So I have sides of 8 and 8, 12 and 12, X and 6. Well, I'm going to set up some ratios here. Okay? Now since these two sides, AC and DF, are the same as D, E, and A, B. I don't really, I, I'm not going to concern myself with them. And I know there's, these are similar triangles. I just have to find the X now. So I'm going to set up ratios or proportion with corresponding sides. So B, C over E, F. Okay, B, C or E, F. The smaller side on this one and the smaller side on this one. Okay, and my next ratio is going to be A, B, A, B over DE, because these are corresponding sides. Now I can plug in some numbers. Well, I can plug in some numbers. Okay, I can easily figure out that BC is X. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't need that part. That doesn't even make sense. I'm going to get rid of these. Now, and EF is 6. So BC over EF is X over 6. 
And now I'm going to look at my A, B, and D, um, E. A, B is 8. D, E is 12. Okay. Now, I have a proportion with an unknown number. Now, I put these red arrows here to show that I'm going to cross multiply to solve this problem. So let me go on to the next one. Let me show you. I'm going to go x times 12 and 6 times 8, because that's how I solve unknowns with proportions. I cross multiply. Okay? So 12 times x is 12x. 6 times 8 is 48. Well, I know if I have 12 times x, and I want to get that x by itself, I have to use the inverse operation. The inverse operation of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide it by 12. And if I divide one side by 12, I have to divide the other side by 12. Okay? So 12x divided by 12, well, those are just 1. They can cancel each other out. That's x. And 48 divided by 12, well, that's just 4. So x equals 4. Okay? So I can go back up here, and I can, I can plug that in. I know that that's going to be 4. And I know that that's going to be 4. Okay. And I can use, even use cross multiplication to figure out that these are proportionate. These are equivalent ratios. 6 times 8 is 48, and 4 times 12 is 48. So as you can see, I use ratios to find co um, corresponding sides, and I set up proportions to see if they were similar. And once I know that... Um, figures are similar or not, I can find unknown sides, okay? Now, if one of these angle, if this angle wasn't the same as this angle, they would not be similar. So if you're looking at problems and it gives you the, the measurements of the angles, first thing you need to do is look and see if they're the same, okay? Now, with triangles, if the angles are the same, then they're always going to be um, similar figures. If they're rectangles or squares, they might not be, and you're going to have to set up your ratios. Okay?